Are we here? Ah! Hi, that was, friends. That wasn't too loud at all. No. <laughs> uh, welcome to the Defenders of Cobalt as we play some fucking Zweihander in our campaign, Death's Reformation. Uh, I am two of these Dragon Milk Stouts in, and they're 11% beer, and I, goddamn, I'm kind of drunk. It's fantastic. Um, so, yeah. Last episode on Death's Reformation. Uh, these assholes... Uh, We're not assholes. Okay. These fantastic <laughs> people talked to Mary's mother, or talked to Mary about her daughter who was dead, gave her the bad news. Uh, went back to the tavern, or the inn they were staying at, and Ivan the Lesser, the mayor's son, came up and kind of ran some ideas past him. Like, hey, make me the mayor. I'll give you a house. You can make me the mayor by one getting rid of those fucking wolves Two, getting me a new priest three maybe taking care of that pastry thing because once the people are ready to get my dad out because he's incompetent and get me in i can actually make this town livable and good again uh i can make barovia great again and uh i'll give you guys a house in payment uh they can't see you dan <laughs> i know if this is for you oh okay <laughs> uh so He's a main zeal fan. The next morning, though, money. these guys crashed in their the in their poor. room for the night. The next morning, while they were eating breakfast, one of the mayor's thugs came up to him and tried to intimidate him, tried to say, come with me now and talk to the mayor. The mayor wants to talk to you. And these guys weren't fucking having it. Uh, this dude tried to flip the table, steal their food, and uh, it didn't, didn't work. Um... These guys ended up... He tried to thug us, and we said, no, you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so now the guy, he's scrubbing the floor in the, the Blood on the Vine Tavern. Uh, and then he's going to go start spreading around the rumor that the mayor's incompetence allowed the priest's son to become a vampire and kill Mary's daughter. Um, and that he knew and didn't care. And he knew and he didn't fucking care. Uh, so where we actually, that, that all happened, and where we, we cut, uh, the party was buying some rations, and then they were, God, Tyler, so much sorry, noise. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, dumb. And then the party was going to head out into the road to the, the village of Kresk to fetch the new... A pail of water. ...priest. Uh, and that's where we left off. So, Dan, why don't you take us back? We're back! We're back! Oh! I am kind of drunk. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, it's great. That. Welcome to Chuck's Playhouse. I have not been drinking much recently because I've been sick off and on. Uh, I'm right there with you. And so these things are fucking hitting me. It's fantastic. Completely unintentional, but I think if people looked at me while you made that noise, it matched up perfectly. Because <laughs> I was going like this. <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. uh. So what's going on, guys? I think Where are you fucking to, at? I think we're going to the town. As long as they're back with the rations. rations. As long as they're back with the rations. Yeah. You guys buy your rations. rations. You guys came up with a price for your rations. Mm -hmm. I don't fucking want to know it, because numbers are my enemy. Did he pay? Yeah. We, I paid. I, we're, 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 I think we're paying yeah. for yes. ourselves. Okay. Yes. The answer is yes. Because <laughs> we're, we're all accountable for all the money. Let's all right. be adults-ish. Ish. Not too much adults, just a little bit adults. So we're going to start. I'm not I would like to do something yes. special. Yes, my friend. Oh, my. I would like to uh, enter the bar yeah. as the Pumpkin King. Ooh, oh, my. shit. Oh, shit. I'm down. Oh, no. And now I want to start uh, speaking with people. Okay. Uh, to try to maybe put together a sort of care package for Mary. Oh, be... okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You should use your code Gios and trick them into. Uh, uh, are you so, trained in leadership? I'll just uh, Zawaru though, and then <laughs> take all the money from their pockets. <laughs> oh shit! Whoa. Are you trained in leadership? Um, I am not trained in leadership, but I am trained in rumor, public speaking. Okay, yeah. Give me that checks out. People know Mary's been fucked up here recently. People, there's enough going for you. I want you to make me an easy rumor check. And this will see how you sway the people there to, to help oh, Mary out. Put together I, I a go care package. for you. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. That works. Uh, 30 under my 46, so that's a... Okay. 
Success? You usually say people hear you. And, you know, people drink early here because life is horrible. Yes, absolutely. Uh, so they, they're like, yeah, 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 yeah. So you can expect, you know, bakers will start giving her maybe some extra bread. Uh, seamstresses maybe will help her, you know, mend some bro uh, worn clothing. Uh, maybe casseroles will get baked and given to her. Yeah, she's on down and out. Let's keep her. Uh, you have you have swayed the public here. Do I think they don't know it's him? Give me a scrutinize. Uh, we're gonna call this a uh, we're gonna call this a challenging scrutinize test. So that's negative ten. Probably because their expressions are stone faced at what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> I, I kind of want to do the same check. That's all right. Okay. <laughs> Fucking five. <laughs> um, no, they don't know who he is. Oh, hell yeah. Who is this masked man, this pumpkin king? This man so, of the people. <laughs> where is Robert Pattinson? Uh, Robert Pattinson is... He's probably with my dog. Yeah, he's hanging out with Okay, because Robert Pattinson will give you away. Yes. Which, which also comes to what I would like to do next. What would you like to I'd do? I'd like to lead, you know, a small group, if possible, to, you know, help take all these things over to Mary's house. Um, now, okay, convincing people to do something like this, talking them into it, takes a few minutes, right? Yeah. Taking the time to gather these things, you're going to be looking at, like, hours worth of work. Mm. Do you want to take that much time? We technically can afford it since we're going to stop in the next town. It takes we five hours stop? to travel to oh, Veliki. Five hours? Okay, yeah, sure. So you can easily spend two or three hours. Okay. Yeah. Do we? I would what, say, on your rest, mind, is our messenger, we got to hope he's doing the right thing. Yes. We, we do have do to worry about the guard. Him? Who is the thug? The, oh, the yeah. thug. Yeah. He, okay. He's doing what we paid him to do. As long as I can send you, have no issue with you. I definitely oh, yeah. Long. Okay. So uh, I... I uh, Definitely, as you start getting together. I, like, I think yeah. the rest of us may be out of town. Hmm? I'm not. Waiting. I'm not. Not going to wait? I said I was going to the bar before you even went in there. I assume I know yeah. you're going to be the pumpkin king in a second, so I go in before. It's okay. like, oh shit, uh, he's got the fucking thing out. <laughs> it's that time. Right. So, as you're saying all these ruined things, I stand up and say, I don't have much to offer, but I put down three brass pennies. Like, we'll do our best to offer more, me and my adventures, and I walk out. Ha <laughs> ha Clever. It's the kindness of strangers. <laughs> um, Alex, your little bit moves people enough that uh, I'm not going to make Jake roll again. Your speech moved them. Your actions, I was going to make you roll again. I'm going to say Alex's actions in conjunction with yours let you bypass that and automatically succeed. Uh, you guys spend the next three or so hours helping people gather up <laughs> organizing people to go and assist Mary and kind of trying to the people's goodness float her through uh, this hard time, helping her put some pieces of her life back together, or at least giving her some tools so she can focus on the that. people's elbow of justice, <laughs> Indeed. Uh, oh. of kindness. Yes, I give the people's elbow to unkindness. Um, also, I think we do need to, especially with the Pumpkin King, we do need to implement some kind of reputation system. Uh, I know Dave sent me something on that a while ago, and I read it, and I fucking forgot it all. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to say right now, I'm going to assign positive and negative reputation points for things. And that right there got you two positive reputation points. Just yeah. write it somewhere on your sheet. Just write it somewhere on your sheet. There's... I think we're all gonna funnel reputation to the Funnel King or to the Pumpkin King. Yeah, uh, that was that was the purpose of me going to the barber for him. Mm -hmm. And we then do uh, things like murdering the mayor. Well, as I leave King the town, well. I'm uh, going to try to discreetly summon Robert Pattinson. Okay, he, he's our backside who does this. Yeah, good. Uh, Dave. There are rules for reputation in Zwyhand, but they function differently. Uh, it's something you can burn to give you boost in social interaction. It's not something for, it's not renown. It's not infamy. It's not renown. It's not to track if people know you before you show up and what they know about you. Oh, in your rules. Okay. Uh, that's fantastic that's in your rules. Uh, I have that downloaded. I haven't read much of it. I'm sorry, Dave. You're a fantastic person, and I owe you more than that. Anyway. 
Uh, so, mission accomplished. You guys ready to roll out? I'm going to let Mary have Robert Pattinson. Holy fuck, Jake. What? What? Holy fuck. Are you sure about this? Yes. At least for the trip or permanently? Permanently. Holy fuck. Oh, uh, you move her to tears with your kindness. Take another two reputation points. God damn. Shit. That's, that's intense, man. Yeah. Okay. We're going to have to get you another dog, bro. The minute we get out of town, like, oh my god, we're just sweating the fuck out. Patton Robertson. <laughs> Patton <laughs> Robertson. <laughs> The next Pat one. Pat Robertson. Oh my oh god. god. <laughs> 75 year old man sitting in Congress. This is a really old dog with a tie. Just, ah, I really like sniffing stuff. <laughs> you know if he shares a birthday with me? Oh, All right. god. And it's All not right. even the worst person I share a birthday with. Oh my gosh, you share a birthday with Hitler. Yes, I do. <laughs> oh, oh shit. Oh god, oh, god. god damn. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Christ, Tyler! Get out of my house! I gotta, I gotta go, guys. I'm... <laughs> no, say what you will about Pat Robertson, but he's not Hitler. <laughs> he's right, he's not Hitler. God damn! <laughs> it's my grandma's birthday too. Yeah, get your grandma out of my house too. <laughs> I, uh, I share a birthday with Oprah. That's, that's uh, a lot better. That's powerful. One of the Buddhas was born on my birthday too. Apparently, uh, the guy who sets two desks down for me, we share a birthday. <laughs> That's more normal. Yeah. God, I used to share with the horrible. guy at my two jobs. Back. And then he fucking died. He Whoa. Did. <laughs> oh, shit. No, I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> right at his desk, man. He's, he's all right, guys. All right, all right. And I pulled out my knife and do, 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 do. I <laughs> right. him. Okay, okay. Five hours of travel. We need to do wilderness travel. Man. Who's going to be the navigator? This rolls. Not it. Or the guide. It rolls navigation. Is that you? That's you. Chris, it's navigation. Always Chris. It's always Chris. Who's survivalist? Woo. I'm the other Joe guy. is rolling survival. Who's scout? I am. Because my, my doggy helps. Uh, you guys are fairly familiar. I'm just going to call this standard. Navigation, you're up first. Uh, I'm, do we, do we want to use one of those? Did you fail? Yeah, I did. It, uh, I would please use one. I don't remember what the significance <laughs> of like, like, like what the failure of navigation is. The, the guide misleads the party, the getting lost for time until they can double back along the same routes. The party requires two days' worth of provisions for each. I'll say your five-hour trip becomes ten. That sounds like a no. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. You better not fuck it up this time, Chris. Blah, blah, blah. I now have green on my hand, and I don't know where it's from. Your ah. rectum. Get that shit checked out. Is it from your exploding pen? I no, my pen is black. The hell out of that one. All yeah, right. But like green. Survival! Yeah, and turns you green. Oh, so, that could be. That's Survival. How, that's how colors uh, work. I passed. Thanks. All right, good job. Black Stealth. Pass. Beige is green. <laughs> pass? Yep. All right, everyone okay. make me a standard toughness check. Some of us are on our <laughs> dice. You know, you know who I share a birthday with? Uh, uh, Aquaman and Julio. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll take that. Okay, those Coolio. are... Coolio. I'm going to use those three are guys until they run yeah. out. Because they're doing Which, good. Uh, oh, that's, Dave shares a birthday with Shaq. not his best pick. Oh, hey, damn. DJ Diesel. DJ Diesel, that's right. Get it right. I saw a gif of him sitting front right, front row at something, just jamming hard. Oh, it was it's, hilarious. It's like twice as tall as the rest of the. It's crowd. so great. He's an EDM. But yeah. All right, guys. I sure remember. Standard birthday, toughness. Fucking nobody. Everyone toughness. Oh yeah. That's, God, that's terrible looking. I pass it every time. Do, 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 do. Uh, I uh, share a birthday with Lordy. Neat. Okay. He's a person. You guys can both be royal. Royals! <laughs> royals! I can be a creepy! <laughs> oh, no. I like the weird out version. I don't know the I don't know if I've heard the weird version. Foil. Foil. foil! I can be your microwave! No. No, you can't. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you were halfway foil there and microwave. then you ruined it. All right, guys. Who passed? Who? F I don't care who passed. Who failed? Critical fail? We all passed. How uncommon. Oh, yeah, How eight. uncommon? I, I critically passed, but that doesn't matter. So. That's you guys, my favorite thing that happened on my birthday. Uh, Stop it, Tyler. Stop it. <laughs> Put it away. Stop it. <laughs> it's a terrible day. Stop no one it. should be born that day. Oh, my God. That was the day that Hitler did the Stop day it! Day. Stop <laughs> it! You fucking dick wranglers! Stop it! 
Mm. What's all this talk about Hitler's birthday? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm so drunk. It's fine. Let's keep going. What would you do if a uh, bear one word came through that card? Bear grails? <laughs> Who? No, with a bat. Oh. Uh. <laughs> 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 The bear. <laughs> oh, oh man. Man. <laughs> Sorry, it's been a long time since I've seen that movie. Glorious Bastards. Great movie. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, Dan, did you ever take us off a... Of... Yeah, you did. Yeah, Why I is did. this showing not... Um, I don't know. People are watching Probably us. Probably frozen. Yeah. I'm going to get another ad. Frozen. Let's watch another ad. Oh, no boy. Fractions Let's continue. Fuck, oh, oh, I was going to launch an ad. We can now run ads. Mm -hmm. And make money from it. I was going to do I that. Hope I hope you all are willing to suffer ads for us. As you guys. Oh, they're not going to get an ad. Yeah, they are. Oh, they won't? No, they're not. Yeah, they are. They're going to get an ad. When you because why settle oh, no. for old Stop. beanbag chairs when you can oh. get a shitty new Bizco ball bag chair instead? <laughs> Each ball bag is stuffed with thousands of tiny stainless steel balls guaranteed to last you a lifetime. Oh, God. So have an experience you'll never forget and sit on your ball bag today. Oh, God. <laughs> There's your fucking head. <laughs> I'm glad you just told me to sit on a ball bag. <laughs> I'd rather not. <laughs> oh, god damn, Jake. That is fucking amazing. Oh. You guys are about three hours into your journey to Veliki in a oh my thick, god. Thick, bouncy ball bag. All right. And a thick fog sets in. You're following the road you've taken a couple of times now, so you know you're not lost. Mm -hmm. This is a fighting fog. But maybe 20, 30 minutes into this fog, you see a... Uh, you see a light, and then it becomes two, uh, a dim yellow flickering light off this the side of the road. This is to Veliki still? Yeah. Fuck. Uh, and as you approach this light, continuing down this trail, this the road, uh, you actually see it's a, uh, a wagon, similar to the one Sergei took you on to get to this place, oh, but shit. larger and rather than just being like a covered wagon, it's like a almost like a carriage, but just larger. Mm -hmm. hmm. uh, and there's a couple horses on the front of this wagon, uh, maybe stomping at the ground. Uh, a couple snorts as you approach, kind of from the behind of this this wagon. Uh, what are you doing? I think I can get my crossbow drawn. <laughs> Ready. So you pull your crossbow. You guys continue walking forward. Am I inspiring words also? Uh, let's time out on that. Okay. I'm just preparing for combat. Okay. You guys take a few steps forward, okay. looking incredulously at this wagon, this carriage sitting there on the side of the road. Uh, very clearly, uh, similar decoration color patterns as Sergei's. And as you get closer, the door on the side of it swings open. Uh, and you see a, a flickering light from inside issuing out from the, the open door. And you hear a, a soft voice, sounds like an elderly woman. I've been expecting you. Come in, come in. Do you have any handbags, madam? No, I'm... Without... All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> what? No handbags, all good. And she's not a bitty with a handbag. She's fine. Not uh, like that witch with the pastries who's got at least three handbags. Yeah, at yeah, least. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. So who she enters... Bitties with handbags. Who they enters the wagon bags. first? Not it. Me. Felix. I'll go second. You step in and I, you I'm see... I'm just going to go to the outside of the house. You see uh, some bench seats along the side of this. It's kind of, it's packed a little bit tight with luggage, maybe bolts of cloth. Um, maybe some, you see like pickled jars, jars of pickled food stuffs along one side. But Got as you eggs? look, what's that? Got any eggs? Oh, there would be pickled eggs in there. Could I, I'll ask her, could I have Hang on, hang on. All right. As you look around, you do see, like, as you step into this, like, this wagon seems larger than what it looked on the outside. Tyrus. Hmm. Tyrus and wagon. as you look kind of towards the right, towards the back of the wagon, uh, you see an old woman 
uh, dressed in really similar garb to uh, like the three owners of the Blood on the Vine Tavern. And she's sitting there and she's knitting. Felix, I'm so glad you made it. Uh, Please. Did she, did she just say your name? Yeah. And Emma, she, is that you? I am. Uh, you know I'm not Our your grandmother. Waggons. Silly, silly boy. And she issues to uh, to some some benches and some sweets seats, kind of around the table she's sitting at. Like, come in, come have your friends. Have a seat, please. What's in there? I'm gonna lean back out and say, "There's a very nice old woman knitting a knot handbag, asking us to have a seat." And like, what's in there? Like, is there guards? Uh, there's blankets and pickled eggs. I oh, go in. Man, all right. My kind of party. <laughs> hey, you guys don't want to come in because we'll just eat all the is eggs. Is it bigger I'm... on the inside? <laughs> yeah. You said it's like fog that's on setting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fog like the yeah, forest fog. Inside. Yeah. Are you a time lord? I'll be the last person. In. <laughs> Fart party. Oh shit. Alright. <laughs> party. Everyone enters? I suppose so. I guess. As the last person enters, the door swings shut behind them. Shit. Sit, sit, please. I... Fate <laughs> has brought you to me. Fate has not done us any kindness fate, so far. Fate. Fate is fickle and can be unkind, but moves with purpose. I... I feel that I have information that can help guide your journey. Are we actually frozen, or is that just... Mm. It's, it's just it's his just laptop. Frozen. Damn. Oh. This laptop has been super dumb here recently. Yeah, we got a little tiny bit of frame droppage, but it's like 0.4. It's not happening right now. Mm -hmm. So, I think we're all right. Please, sit. You may call me Madam Eva. Fuck it. I like lean over the table and like go to shake her hand. Nice to meet you, Madam Eva. She she reaches out. You know, like that old lady handshake where they don't like and the snakes come. But out. they no, they turn their hand a little bit and you just shake their fingertips. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because mm -hmm. you're gonna break them otherwise. <laughs> yeah, uh, no snakes come out, but she shakes. She's like, uh, Anthony, it's a pleasure to finally meet you. Yeah. Uh, she aware of all of her names? Yeah. She'll call you out each by name in some kind uh, welcome. I'll shake her hand. I kind, of, I kind of narrow my eyes. I'm like, are you aware of everything about us? I am aware of what happens in these lands. As the fates whisper it to me. She didn't say addiction. <sighs> <laughs> and I I do what I can to to I am a like to think of myself as an instrument of, of fate divine providence uh, people finding their true path in life a prophet I would not go and be as bold to state something like that just describe it <laughs> <laughs> Right, it's a little bit of false humility you sense, uh, but when you get as old as Madame Eva, you probably are allowed a little bit of it. Yeah, you gotta be a little full of shit when you're old, just a little bit. So, fate has brought you here to me. Yeah, to a land That's... unfamiliar to ourselves, and I think I can give you guidance. I believe that you are all here in these lands for a purpose. I believe that purpose is to help restore the king to his former glory, to help him take control of these lands, and to return them to peace. The fates, they whisper to me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's great, too old. That's what I'm hearing. The fates, they whisper to me. They have a task they need you to complete. And she pulls a lit lantern down 
from the kind of shelf behind her and sets it at the table. Admittedly, I don't know between you and her. Come from, and she reaches into like her shawl and she pulls out a hand of uh, like a powder. You see? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! Was so oh. much pause. Oh, that was wildly God. different until after the pause. Oh, God. She pulls out, out a handful. Hand. Oh God! And she throws Pickled limbs. Oh no! She like, throws this party at the, the open flame of the lantern, and it flares up in this green gout of she fire. She threw iron into the fire. And Blue you can powder. see the, the fire just for a second take the form of, like, a horse. Well, that's a nightmare. Uh, yes, our lord's mighty steed. It's not a unicorn, is it? It is not a unicorn, my friend. <laughs> Copper. Fuck, I just fucked from, it up. From Copper. the back... Copper of this green. horse, he protected our lands and our people. He rode down his foes in righteous combat. I feel the first task these lands have for you is to return this horse from a cursed death. The fates, they whisper to me your instructions. And then she reaches up onto a shelf behind her and she pulls out a small wooden box and she opens it up and she pulls out a deck of cards and she she shuffles a little bit as best as her old hands can and she passes it around to each of you like please cut and that way your hands have as much in this as we can I grab it first of course <laughs> <laughs> full <laughs> reshuffle I gamble. I just haven't had a chance to do it. Oh, I'm itching. <laughs> I lose that too. There you go. Each of you take a cut of the cards, whether basic, just boop boop, or just I a fold. I was always told cut I, thin to win. I do the thing where you fold it. I just shoot them at you. You catch them. <laughs> <laughs> Some full fucking like street magic. What do you shit. mean by take a cut? Like, <laughs> like you, you cut take a card, cards. you put it under. Yeah, okay. you take a stack of cards, you flip it a little bit. In just real to, life, I've learned cut thin to win. Okay. I'm going to try to take one card off the top and then kind of do like a neato card trick where I just kind of like flip and spin it and catch it with my other hand. I can make a coordination test. All right. When I'm asked to cut the deck, I'm taking... We'll call it standard. I'll be easy on you. When I'm asked to cut, I take the top card and put it on the bottom and hand it back. <laughs> it's fine. Jake, 90 is greater than 40, 42, right? To Say what? 90 is greater than 42, yes? <laughs> yes, it is. Okay, so I go... And miss. And go... <laughs> hand her the cards back. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. She gives a little chuckle. Yeah. <laughs> I'll pick that up and I'll put it on top of your deck. <laughs> and then she deals out on the table between you five cards and what looks like a these are some evil fucking a plus cards. symbol. Mm -hmm. Um, but they're all six of us. Yeah, it's the instructions on how to rescue the horse, though. It's not something specific to us, I think. All right. Fucking Christ, computer. Ah! Calm your shit, computer! Should run that display at a lower resolution. All your videos. Ah. Uh, anyways. That'll be fine, eventually. She She deals out the cards. One of them is Santa. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> the other one is also Santa. Wait a minute, this isn't the card. elf of gifts. <laughs> oh, fuck, this one is gonna pattern really. suck so hard if my computer just shits itself. Which it is doing. One of them just is close the stream for uh, one of them is future Rama Santa. You should right click it and preview it. Then I'm sure you can control it with your left and right button. Can you like lower the stream quality on that? Uh, I just closed it. Or just do a chat pop out. Oh, fucking Christ, guys. But for some reason, our stream only has auto and source. Because we're not um, yeah. members or whatever. Yeah, you have to be partner. You don't get that until you're partner. Or they just choose that you're doing really well at the time. I thought we did get partnered. No, we only got affiliate. Yeah. Partner, we are nowhere close to. Mm -hmm. I am sorry, those of you watching this on stream. Uh, Dan's currently monitoring the chat. Uh, my little computer here is going... <laughs> uh, 
And I really want these guys to be able to kind of see what's going on. Is it something I can put up in some way? Uh, on the stream, maybe. I was just going to share it afterwards on the Patreon. Okay. All right. Next time we'll do better. Can we maybe enough to start? No promises. Yeah. She lays out the five cards. Oh my gosh. Uh, Everything is so slow. Yeah, and she flips the first one. Oh, uh, that's computer's not touch screen. Okay, everything's over now. It it's, is if you it's touch all it hard over enough. now. What's that? It is if you touch it hard enough. <laughs> <laughs> and she says, the first card, this is the hooded one. And you see a picture on the card like a, uh, these are obviously like hand-drawn mm -hmm. cards. And you see a picture of a, looks almost like an executioner, a hooded man. It tells of a ritual. Words of power to be recited. I see a faceless and long forgotten God. He has the words for you. He keeps them within his mind made of stone. At the end of a long and winding road, deep within the mountains. As the crow flies, it is south of the walled city that you already know. Uh, any clarification from me on that before we move on to the next card. <clears throat> Sounds like south of the city we're heading to. Correct? Veliki. Do we not know that? Veliki? She said the walled city we already know, which has to be Veliki. No. It's the, the only hooded man in. The hooded the one. The hooded man in, where how we got here, the walled off city where that tavern was. Mm. Okay. I don't want you guys to get so far off track. The Let's hooded city you already know here would be it would strike you as Baliki. Okay. Let's hear what she has to say before we start trying to decipher. Yeah. Okay. So now you guys can see. Okay. Remember when this fucking program had oh it does have arrow buttons. She flips the next card. The second card is the monk. It tells you of a relic of life lost. It tells you of what once was a holy place. The treasure you seek is hidden behind the sun in the house of a saint. Yeah, we already killed the sun in the house of a saint. But I... Mm. In the house of a saint. And if you think he was a saint, you're... Definitely... Well, it was a church, though. Okay. I don't know what your definition of a saint is, but somebody holding a vampire in his basement is not really... Maybe his last name was Saint or something weird like that. She flips the next card. <laughs> the traitor card tells of a tool needed for the ritual. Look for a wealthy woman, a staunch ally of the devil. She keeps the treasure under lock and key with the bones of an ancient enemy. You have met her children before, and they gifted you with drinks and laughter. Oh. Yep. She flips the other card. The charlatan tells us of, of a sacrifice. Blood to pay the price. I see a lonely mill on a precipice. You, as she points at Felix. Ooh. You are already familiar with this component of the ritual. Okay. And then finally, she flips the last card. The thief. The location of where the ritual must take place is at the crossroads of life and death, among the buried dead. A fire has recently taken the holy house that watched over the location of the ritual. Fuck. Can I get that one more time? Sorry, I'm trying to write down, but I'm slow. <laughs> uh, let me actually... I don't know how this is going to come through on the stream. Oh, I have way over the limits. Uh, yes, which part do you want to know? Just the last part. I, I got most of it, just the last part was too fast. Uh, the thief, the location of where the ritual must take place, is at the crossroads of life and death among the buried dead. A fire has recently taken the holy house that watched over the location of the ritual. Oh. 
the place yeah, we that, know we, where that is. we not quite burned down. <laughs> that old place that had a fire recently. Mm. It was kind of our fault, too. Psh. You say that. <laughs> okay, I have some basic ass fucking notes. One could interpret it that way. Use what I've told you to complete the ritual. Bring the king of this land one step closer to reclaiming his rightful throne. But what is the ritual? To rescue his mighty steed from a cursed death. We're bringing his horse back from the dead. Okay. <laughs> Apparently. At the chapel. At the ch the crossroads between life and death. Okay. All right. Tell me again of this uh, charlatan that I know. Is the horse's name in Yeah, I don't have great notes on that either. The charlatan. Shoot. Sorry. I just have the word. Pills like of a pasta. sacrifice. Blood to pay the price. I see a lonely mill on a precipice. You, as she points at Felix, are already familiar with this component of the ritual. I feel like that uh -huh. has something to do with the pastries. Uh -huh. Was that pastry place on? Was that a mill or was it yeah, just a tower? Yeah, it was a mill. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what chores did you do for the old hags? Milk the goat. We cleaned. <laughs> we cleaned. Yep. Swipped. But you, she pointed at Felix, What's are familiar with this component. Mm -hmm. I had tasty treats. He partake Probably none them. of us remember at this point what Jake did. Wait a minute. They might all be part of a sacrifice. All the people who ate it. Oh, well, that bodes ill for me. Now, my friends, <laughs> I do grow weary. If you have no other needs of me, I kindly ask you to take your leave. Can I have a couple pickled eggs? I was getting ready to ask that. Help yourself to my larder. Oh, oh. heck yeah. <laughs> uh, I want each of you to roll me. Are these cards still flipped up on the table? Yeah. Okay. Uh, if you guys are raiding her fucking supplies... Uh, I want you to roll me a, uh, we'll call it 2d6, and that's how many uh, meals worth of rations you're able to claim. Uh, three, three meals make one day's worth of rations. Oh, hell yeah. Two days. Wait, you said three, 2d6 is how many meals, and you yes. divide by three is how many rations? Yeah. So you got okay. three rations out of that. Yeah. I don't like pickled God eggs. Damn. So I'm just Well, it's not just pickled know, eggs. It's an have... assortment of pickled goods. I rolled like, like fucking hot trash. Pickles. Are we just rounding down? What'd you get? No, that's how many meals you got. Okay. I just, Eleven. I'm just Man, rounding we're paying down. ourselves good enough. <laughs> yeah. I'm just rounding because one meal's not very useful. Right, I don't so, know how to track on my sheet very well. So those least. cards are still flipped up on the table. Yeah, they're fractions absolutely. Of rations. Can we take these cards? So if you get one more, uh, meal, we'll she have one more like no, I will not let you take. Them. They would one. leave me an incomplete deck. I'd be one of the shovel egg in my mouth. Right. Oh, cool. uh, poke yeah, at it, like, meals, are the numbers on them significant? <laughs> I might just eat it. Um, <laughs> for other readings, they they bring significance. Okay. Oh, for so this one, they do not. Uh, and she she would gladly explain. The hooded one is the seven of swords. The monk is one of glyphs. The traitor is nine of glyphs. Charlatan is seven of glyphs, and the thief is seven of coins. Why sevens are strong for us? But here and this, they they bear no meaning. Okay. Please do not let them cloud over. What I've already told you. Does this arrangement that they're in matter at all? For the reading that for this one, it does. Each each reading is a ritual on its own, with required parameters to fulfill. Hmm. That's what we got out of that. All right, All right. We, we gotta get out of this. Beyond way. us, she's she's got places to be. Honestly, we've got places to yeah. be. We thank you for your time. We greatly appreciate it. Yeah, we, thank you. We'll get out of your way. I am. I'm certain we will meet again in the future. We'll attempt to do fate's bidding. 
Bro, you keep on making eggs like this. I'm see you. Uh, as you <laughs> step out of the wagon, you see the the fog starts to clear. And as you turn around, kind of taking in your surroundings, as the fog clears, her wagon vanishes with it. And, like, hey, could you do that for our way home? Oh. <laughs> uh, and you find yourselves back on the the path to Voliki. Be for what it's egg. worth. Man, we should get lost more Is there any time right, passed on my... Say what? Is there any time passed on my watch? Next time uh, I'm fog, I'm charging it. No, no time has passed. Ah. That's cool. Or break time. Yeah. Uh, so with that, uh, we are actually going to move into our second break for the night. Uh, those of you watching on Twitch, don't fucking go anywhere. Uh, we'll be right back. Oops. My, my hand got kind of wild on that. Uh, those of you watching us on YouTube, uh, give us a couple more days. Uh, and what else? Podcast, give us a couple more days once again. Um, what else? I think that's fucking it. We'll be back on Twitch in a few. I don't fucking know. Until we see you again, start fires, do drugs, and tip your fucking bartenders, you heartless bastards. Deuces. <laughs>